When they talk about stuff like endorphins, they don't feel it on the run, but when, they, when you finish and it sinks in, they sink in afterwards. And so now I've, now, now I've had a bit of time to reflect, you know, I'm sort of a few hours post-race and yeah, I'm feeling absolutely really, well, I'm really proud of myself. A friend of mine was doing some work for Carmen, you know, and during these conversations, they, you know, he was asked if he knew someone who sort of fit this criteria and that criteria w was me, you know, and um, you know, I've suffered from, you know, depression. My friend said that he thought it would be beneficial that I, I got involved in this or got involved in running or the idea of running the London Marathon. At the time, when he said, what do you think about running the London Marathon? I, I said I didn't think about it at all and I had no, no thoughts on it. But um, I'm, I'm glad that we had that conversation, yeah. It was, and that's, yeah, so that's how I got involved, yeah. Yeah, training's had a huge impact on my well-being. Um, it, you know, it, I never did exercise, absolutely nothing. And in the six months that I've been training, I, you know, I've stopped. I don't take antidepressants anymore. Um, uh, the, the running has is, is, is seemed to be enough. This, the, these things don't get cured overnight. But in terms of keeping me on a on a balanced level and keeping me, you know, in control of my emotions, it's been a huge benefit. You know, it, that's been so important, and it has worked. It's well, it's worked for me without a shadow of a doubt. If it wasn't for the marathon, I wouldn't have started training, and I wouldn't have started running. So it, I'm glad I've done it. But would I do another one? At this right moment in time, absolutely not. No, never again. <laughs>